hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love balvinda kidnapped nea thinking that she is lakshmi and rano and nea's plan failed so let's continue from there balvinda kidnapped nea thinking that she is lakshmi nea slaps balvinda and tells him that she is nea and not lakshmi balvinda asks nea that where is lakshmi nea tells balvinda that she has made lakshmi unconscious and she was about to replace her on the wedding altar Nea taunts Balvinda for being stupid and asks him to take her back to the wedding venue. Balvinda asks that where is Lakshmi. Nea says she has kept Lakshmi hidden under the bed in the makeup room. Raki tells Shriti that Lakshmi might be in the room. Balvinda and his goons bring back Nea to the hotel. Karan get doubtful about seeing Balvinda and tells Samiro that he has fake beard. Rano calls Nea. Nea comes there and asks Rano to cover her head with the veil. Rano says I will make you wear the garland first and they go to the wedding altar. Nea sits at the wedding altar. She thinks that she will marry Rishi and Lakshmi would open her eyes in Balvinda's house. Raki looks at Nea and thinks that Lakshmi is here. She calls Shriti and tells her that Lakshmi is here. Shriti sees the falling vase and looks at Lakshmi that is unconscious under the bed. She tells Raki. Raki asks that who is at the wedding altar. She asks if there is any psycho lover of Rishi. Shriti says we have to make Lakshmi marry Rishi. Raki sees Balvinda and the goon and calls Shriti and informs her that the waiters are here who had kidnapped Nea and they are now coming to kidnap Lakshmi. Samuel follows Balvinda and the goon. Raki says they are going towards the bride's room. She asks Shriti to make Lakshmi gain consciousness first. Shriti sprinkles water on Lakshmi's face and she makes her get consciousness. She asks, are you fine? She says, we have to go from here as two goons are coming here to kidnap you. She asks Lakshmi to come fast. They come out of the room and go to another room. Balvinda and the goons goes inside the bride's room. Samuel thinks that why are they coming here? Raki comes there. Shriti asks Lakshmi that who eat her on the head with force. Lakshmi says it is Neha. Raki tells Lakshmi that Neha is your sister and she asks that why would she do this? Lakshmi says I was making Neha understand that whatever is meant for you will become yours and that she should accept God's wish. Shriti tells Lakshmi that they have to go down and ask her to sit there until they bring Nea. She says if we take you downstairs, then it will be a big problem. Raki assures Lakshmi that her marriage will happen with Rishi only. Balvinda searches for Lakshmi. Raki says that it is only God who writes destiny. The priest asks the bride to give her hand in the groom's hand. Nea gives her hand in Rishi's hand. Rishi gets doubtful, thinking that the hand is not Lakshmi's hand. Shriti and Raki comes there and sees that the marriage rituals are started. Shriti thinks to break the wedding altar so that the priest can stop the marriage for the time being. She tells Raki that she will fall on the wedding altar and then the priest will stop the marriage. Shriti is about to fall on the wedding altar, but Sala stops her, not knowing Shriti's plan. The priest asks the bride and the groom to stand for the rounds. Rano asks them to start taking the rounds quickly. The priest says no. They will take the round after the wedding mantras. Rano thinks that she wants them to take the round quickly. The priest finally asks them to start the round. Shriti falls on the pot and says this marriage cannot happen. Raki says Shriti wants to say that the pot is broken and that is why the marriage cannot happen. The Obrai grandma asks that how can we stop the marriage in the middle. Rano says that the priest has read the mantras and he has already asked them to take the rounds. Nilam says this rounds will not be done. She says this marriage will begin again because she doesn't want anything bad to happen due to the broken pot. Mr. Obrey says that they will make the arrangement for the new pot. Nilam asks Rishi to rest till then. Rishi says he will go to his room. Shruti calls Nea as Lakshmi and asks her to come. Rano says I will take her with me and they leave. Raki takes Sala to his side and says I want to tell you the truth. She says the girl that is sitting at the wedding altar was not Lakshmi but her cousin Nea. She says, do something so that we can bring Lakshmi to the wedding altar. She says, if you don't trust me, then see for yourself. Saula calls Nea as Lakshmi. Rano asks Nea to look back and pretend that she is Lakshmi. Shriti asks Raki that what did you say to my mother? Raki says, I told her the truth. Shriti says, my mom will not help us without confirming and she might spoil our plans. Saula goes to Nea and makes her phone fall down. She sees Nea's face in the phone and thinks that she is Nea. She then calls Raki, Shriti and Nilam. She tells them that even Lakshmi should go to the room and come back again for an auspicious marriage. Nilam looks on. 
Raki talks to the priest about the incident. She asks the priest that what would happen to the person doing a sin. The priest says it would be very bad for the person. Raki asks, what did you say? The priest says, very, very bad. Raki asks everyone if they heard what the priest says. Everyone is confused. Shruti and Raki pretend that they are taking the bride to the room. Shruti and Raki bring Neha to the room where Lakshmi is. Shruti asks Lakshmi to see her photocopy, another Lakshmi in veil. Neha tries to run away, but Shruti holds her hand. Shruti tells Neha that he wanted to snatch Rishi from Lakshmi. Neha says it was my Rishi, but this illiterate girl snatched my Rishi from me. Lakshmi says now she has to answer because I will question her. Preeta asks Karan that what was he doing because they need to go to the marriage altar. She says now she will sit here. Karan asks Preeta to think if any girl get behind him and loves him. Preeta asks Karan to go and says nobody will love you like me. Balvinda's gun says that he has a gun and he has stolen it from the police station. Samru hears them. Lakshmi tells Nea that Rishi and her relationship are destined and says that Rishi wants to marry her and she also wants to marry him. Lakshmi asks Nea that how can you do this being my sister? She asks what is this madness? Nea says yes I am mad. I want money and luxury life and I will snatch it from you. Shruti tells Lakshmi that Nea want only money and not husband. Nea comes out of the room and locks Shruti and Lakshmi in the room and says I will marry Rishi and nobody can stop me. Prita comes there and slaps Nea. Nea faint. Prita opens the door. Shruti asks Prita about the girl. Prita says, how can you let her go? Raki says, I now understand what Nea wanted to do. Shruti, Raki and Prita tie Nea to the chair. Lakshmi asks if this is needed. Prita asks Nea to look at Rishi and Lakshmi's marriage happening from here. Shruti asks Lakshmi to come and not to feel bad. Balvinda and his goons think to take Lakshmi and escape from there. They see Lakshmi coming downstairs. Balvinda plans to make Lakshmi unconscious first, using drug water. And then he asks his friend to come there as a doctor and take Lakshmi to the room. And he should ask everyone to go out and then they will kidnap Lakshmi. Samu hears their plan. Mr. O'Brien asks Karan to call Prita. Karan asks if I don't look good laughing. Mr. O'Brien laughs. Samu calls Karan and then comes to him. Samuel tells Karan about Balvinda. Prita comes there and tells Karan that Nea wanted to marry Rishi by force. Karan also tells Prita that there is a guy who also wants to stop the marriage. Saula appreciates Triti for saving Lakshmi today. Lakshmi thanks them. Saula says you will get what is in your destiny, no matter how people try to stop you. Balvinda sends his goon to change his clothes and mix the medicine in the water. Shruti tells Raki that she would go and talk to Samuel. Rano sees Balvinda and asks that what is he doing here. Balvinda says that he came to kidnap Lakshmi and he asks Rano to see Lakshmi. Rano sees Lakshmi and gets shocked, wondering how she regained consciousness. Balvinda asks Rano to search for Nea. Rano gets worried. Prita says that Lakshmi is here, so nobody can arm her. Samu says they wanted to make Lakshmi drink drug water to make her faint. Karan and Prita get worried. Saula and Raki make Lakshmi eat something. Balvinda comes there in disguise as a waiter and says Rishi sent the water for Lakshmi. Saula asks Lakshmi to drink as Rishi sent it. Bani says I will drink it. Balvinda asks are you Lakshmi? He says Rishi sent it for Lakshmi. Lakshmi takes the glass. Neelam comes there and says that the wedding altar is ready and she asks Lakshmi to come. Karan says Lakshmi about to drink the water and he throws the glass down. Balvinda runs away. Karan runs behind him. Samu also runs behind him. Rishi sees Balvinda and he identifies him. He shouts Balvinda. Balvinda says, I have left Lakshmi. Rishi says, I will not leave you again. If I send you to jail, then you will never take Lakshmi's name with your mouth. Balvinda eats Rishi. Rishi fights with Balvinda. Balvinda signals to his goons. Lakshmi comes there. Rishi beats Balvinda and says, I told you to respect women. Lakshmi is my would-be wife, whom you have seen with your bad sight. He asks, how dare you to think of kidnapping Lakshmi from the wedding altar? Samuel tells Lakshmi that she is lucky to get a loving and a caring husband like Rishi. Rishi tells Lakshmi that this chapter is closed and we should not waste our moments due to this. He says, let's go. Lakshmi is about to cover her face with the veil. But Rishi asks Lakshmi not to cover her face and says he will talk to his mother about it. Rishi asks Ayush to take Balvinda to the police station and then he should come back to attend the marriage. 
Lakshmi correct Rishi's turban and they go to the wedding altar. I'm just waiting to see how in the world Zword is going to cut out all this part of Karan, Prita, Saula, and Raki and every everyone in this in this episode. I just want to see. Like they are they are really getting on my nerves. I want to see how they want to cut it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share it, and I'll see you guys in the next update. Thank you.